is Nisa and I am in grade 2. I hope that you listen and like our special story today about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Did you know that this story happened thousands of years ago? Yet, what Jesus did at that time is very important to everyone around the world, even up to our generation and the generations to come. You may ask, why did Jesus have to die? Let me help to explain using a science experiment. But first, I want to read a verse in the Bible in Romans 3.23. For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. When God created man, that's Adam and Eve, they were without sin. They were like this clear water, but because man gave in to temptation, sin entered into the life of man. So, therefore, as the verse said, everyone has sinned. Sin makes us unclean or dirty, and we are separated from God because of it, for God is holy. Everyone has sinned, even those who we think are good people. When we lie, cheat, get something that's not yours even when we try to do good we have we still have sin the bible said in romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god is eternal life through christ jesus our lord So the payment for our sin is death, which means eternal separation from God. But God loves us so, so much, He wants us to be back to Him. So in John 3.16, For this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. So you see, Jesus came to the world to take our sin. Jesus died instead of us because he carried our sins when, when he was nailed on the cross. Jesus did not remain dead. He rose again on the third day and, and, and this shows that Jesus defeated the power of sin and death in our lives. His victory was complete. He died once and for all. Look what happens to us when we invite and allow and surrender our lives to Jesus. Look at the water. See, now we have victory over sin and death too. We now have eternal life if we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Do you want Jesus to be in your life too?